Thalassemia major is an inherited blood disorder in which the affected children are unable to maintain hemoglobin in the normal range. Their bone marrow cannot form sufficient red cells and red cell survival is also reduced. This makes them extremely anemic. They also require regular blood transfusions and medicines which are very expensive. Let's try and understand this disorder better. It is estimated that about 3.4% of the Indian population is a carrier of thalassemia or suffering from minor thalassemia. Every year, 7 to 10,000 children with thalassemia major are born in India. It is more prevalent in communities like Sindhis, Punjabis, Gujaratis, Marwaris, Bengalis, Saraswats, Gors, etc. How is thalassemia caused? Thalassemia is of two types, minor and major. Thalassemia minors are people who carry one defective thalassemia gene. They are normal except that during stressful situations in life, like surgeries or during pregnancy, they may have complications due to low hemoglobin. Thalassemia major is a serious blood disorder which causes severe anemia and related complications. This is caused by the presence of two defective genes acquired from each thalassemia minor parent. When both parents are thalassemia minors or carriers, there is a 25% chance of birth of a thalassemia major child, 25% of a normal child, and 50% chance of a thalassemia minor child. Living with thalassemia major is a challenge to say the least. Patients need regular blood transfusions every three to eight weeks to maintain normal hemoglobin levels. With regular transfusion and removal of iron through chelation therapy, however, thalassemics can live and grow into adulthood. There is no real cure for thalassemia except bone marrow transplant. Thalassemia can lead to several complications too. Due to regular blood transfusions, there is a high chance of thalassemics being exposed to blood infections like HIV, HBV or hepatitis B, and malaria. If the donor's infection is at an early stage, the infection may not even be picked up during donor blood testing before transfusion. Thalassemia patients can also develop iron overload due to repeated blood transfusions. Unfortunately, the human body has no natural mechanism of excreting the excess iron from the body and needs to be removed by using iron chelated drugs. This excess iron gets deposited in and around the various vital organs of the body and ultimately causes organ failure. Thalassemics also often suffer from other diseases like jaundice, osteoporosis and heart problems. Thalassemia is a preventable disorder. If one knows one's thalassemia status, they could be in touch with their doctor for counseling and could prevent the birth of a thalassemia major child. In the Mediterranean countries, where the prevalence of thalassemia minors is as high as 17%, public awareness campaigns have led to decreased thalassemia major births. In India, prenatal testing for thalassemia gene should be made mandatory. Here's how you can help. Help spread awareness about the disease. Get yourself tested for thalassemia, especially if you are planning for a child. Thalassemia patients regularly need blood. Do donate your blood whenever you can. Get your friends and family to do the same too. Help hold blood donation camps in your neighborhood. Support underprivileged thalassemia children financially 